What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 21 in the sixth grade math questions that North Carolina released this past school year. We can see that we're just trying to find the area of this pentagon. And there's not a formula for a pentagon like there are for other shapes, but the problem does go to the trouble of splitting it up into a trapezoid and two triangles for us. So we're going to go ahead and work through this. But first, in order to do a problem like this and do it really well, you'll need to know the area formulas for a trapezoid and a triangle, as well as how to work with compound shapes, where we have multiple different things that we know how to find the smaller areas of, and we'll eventually just have to add up those areas to get, um, to get the area of the entire pentagon. So let's get started. I'm going to focus first on the harder shape here, which is the trapezoid. Now the uh, formula for the area of a trapezoid I went ahead and wrote up here. Essentially, it's one half times our first base plus our second base. So this is, so it really doesn't matter since we're adding these what order we write them in, but the point is that these are the two parallel sides, the two sides that point in the same direction and are, and are never going to touch. So base 1 and base 2 um, are they're this 6-foot side and this 9-foot side. And then my height isn't one of these slanted sides. It's actually this vertical distance here from one of my bases to the other one. And the problem tells us that that is actually 6 feet. So it gives us a nice bit of information. And now all I have to do is plug in those numbers into this formula. So I'm going to go ahead and do exactly that. And I'm going to say that for the area of the trapezoid, it's... 1 half times, instead of base 1, base 1 is 6, plus, and instead of base 2, base 2 is 9, times, and I'll put a little times here as well, 6. Alright, so this is 1 half times 6 plus 9 times 6. I can go ahead and use some order of operations to figure this out, starting with my parentheses, because P comes first, and please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So this becomes 1 half times 15 times 6. And I can go ahead and plug that in my calculator. Oh, whoops, bumped the thing there. Would probably help if the calculator were on as well. This is 1 half times 15 times 6 gives me 45. So I know that the area of my trapezoid is 45. So now I need to figure out the area of this triangle. So to figure out the area of a triangle, I just need a base and I need a height. And I'm using green for the triangle to separate the colors because now this side, my base, is still going to be 9 feet. I just have to use a different name for it because it has a different name in the formula. And then my height is going to be 3 feet. So to plug that into the formula, this is 1 half times... And so my base is 9, my height is 3. So this is 1 half times 9 times 3. I can go ahead and plug this in my calculator. 1 half times 9 times 3 gets me 13.5. Now all I have to do is add up the area of my pentagon and the area of my triangle. So if I add 45 plus 13.5, whether I use a calculator or do this manually or in my head or whatever, I'm going to end up getting 58.5, which matches answer choice B. Now I do want to talk about a trick answer here, because let's say that we forgot about our one-halves on each of these. Well, if we forget about our one-halves, our answer that, that we would end up getting would be we have, we get 90 for the area of the pentagon, because this would just be 15 times 6. We get 27 for the area of the triangle, because we would forget the one-half and it would just be 9 times 3. We would get 117, and that is choice D, but that's not how we do the problem. That would only happen if we forgot about our one-halves in both of our formulas. 
and that's not what we need to do. We need to remember our formulas and we need to use them correctly, and that's what this problem is all about.